this. Docking seal released. Hey, how's it going? Setting down, everything in the green. Hold very still, and choose your words carefully. They will determine how long you live. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. But it was lost. All communication ceased. There was no sign of it. Indeed it did. The Oracle is perhaps the least of our problems, I'm afraid. Boris, I think we need not fear our guest. Perhaps in this time of need, the Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Counselor! With due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. I do not disagree, and I know that security, in whatever small form we can grasp it, is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. We received the automated transmission, but you are certainly not who we expected to find. Great Serpent! What's happening again? Hear me! Speaker, we are here! We have reached out to you, to, to seek guidance in our hour of need. The gate of the Citadel has been opened just to seek you. Have I failed you? What is this place? Where am I? Why do you not show yourself? Oh, great serpent. Is... Is that you? Is it your presence, I feel? I... I feel something, yet I see nothing. Is this a test? What do you require of me? Great Serpent, I have done all that I can. The Scaled Citadel itself has been transformed to petition you. I know that all must serve, but I need more. I require guidance. Take pity on us and reveal the way forward. Our leader, Anasko Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these vortex phantoms. But usually they are hostile and lash out. Anasko is different. If only we could hear his voice, some reassurance that all is not lost. You could hear him. Despite the sightings, none have heard the word from Anasco in all this time, yet you claim to? Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? I, the serpent. Access to the citadel was restricted. Even if you knew of its existence, you could not have known what went on inside. Truly, you did hear an asco. You have been chosen.
People of House Varun, hear me. We have asked the Great Serpent for deliverance from our calamity, and he has answered us. This outsider has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the Great Serpent's divine provenance, and he will help save us all. Outsider, please. There is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed, principles that must be obeyed. Even in these dire circumstances, we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you, on that you have my word. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly, and it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? Excellent. Please, come with me. Forgive me for not introducing myself. I am Malibor Dulkev. A member of the High Council of House Varun. I have been asked to represent the Council in this moment. Please, enter our city. You have my word that you will not be harmed. I would ask that until you have become promised, you avoid the citizens of Dasra. They are not used to outsiders. Open the gate! I must have a look over the empty now. Surely you saw the scaled citadel as you arrived. It was the center of an explosion of sorts that has annihilated most of our city. We have lost many of our brothers and sisters. You do not belong here. We are still in danger. Is there a problem, Makula? The city is in shambles, the speaker is missing, and here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space? Why allow this husk to defile our city? Have we not lost enough? Have faith, I believe this outsider was guided here by the great serpent himself. And soon, serpent willing, they will be one of us. But. I can be sure and pass your concerns on to the rest of the High Council, if you wish. I apologize for the interruption. There is a ritual intended for converts to the Promised that has not been performed in generations. We are fortunate that there are those still alive who remember the old ways and have remained prepared for such a moment as this. Naza, I suspected we might find you here waiting. I saw the ship landing. I knew immediately that I would be needed. Indeed you are. This is Inaza Kaisir, Herald of the Serpent. She will guide you through the ritual. I am needed elsewhere, but I assure you that you are in good hands. So, the Great Serpent sends you to me. Hmm. There is something about you. No husk that walked the Serpent's path. To enter this sacred cave, there is no turning back. You will be forever changed. This is a path. You must walk of your own free will, alone. Will you step forward and emerge anointed, one of the promised? Then enter 
and I shall guide you along the serpent's path. lies before you, but it is up to you to walk it. Before House Harun, there were humans, first on Earth, then scattered among the stars. And like all humans, they were lost so Wandering in the dark, looking for a path. One particular colony sheep housed several hundred of these souls. They were each alone and isolated. Individual tiny flames that could be snuffed out at a moment's notice. Chinang encountered the great serpent and was given the gift of knowledge. He shared his knowledge with those around him and lit the way for them. They followed his guidance and his light, and they cast aside the burdens of their former lives. And thus, House Varun was born. Now you too have the chance to cast aside your burdens to relieve yourself of anything that holds you back. The people's hopes and fears and dreams were entrusted to the great serpent. They made the leap of faith that brought House Arun to greatness. You may now follow in their footsteps and take that same leap. Embrace the great serpent, and he will embrace you. Jinan Varun himself slept among them in these shelters. It was here that he spread the word of the serpent. It was here that the people of House Varun first understood the truth of their place in the universe. And it was here that the people of House Varun first understood the truth of the shrouding. The great serpent's return. He will encircle the universe he created, and all those who do not follow will be cast into shadow. And the people weighed this knowledge against their form. Despite the difficult new life that awaited them, you too would do well to feel that solace amidst the pain.
Until that day comes, we are the voice and the hands of the Great Serpent. Our every act a sacrifice to hasten his return. Make now a sacrifice to prove your devotion. And remember, whether in life or in death, all must serve. Let us begin the final ritual. While Lana sins Jinan and the Ron have stood before the great serpent, we can all feel his presence. To solidify his bond, you are presented with a simple choice. Before you on this day are several items. They represent different aspects of House Varun's connection to the Great Serpent. Pick the two that call to you. Place them on the altars. Offerings to the Great Serpent that he may fill you with his spirit and make you promise. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Varun. Did you feel the Great Serpent working within you? Do you feel born anew? Yes, your confidence is impressive. Through strength and perseverance, House Varun will triumph over all that stands in its way. I grant you the title of Vindicator. All will know you. All will trust you. Above us, in the Grand Ship Morning, Jewel of the Varun Fleet, the High Council awaits your arrival. Serve them. Serve the Great Serpent. All must serve. Good to see you. Welcome, Vindicator. You stand before what remains of the High Council, advisors to Anasko Varun. We are all that is left after the disaster that has befallen our people. I represent House Dulkef. Jamal is from House Kadik, and we are joined by Lovek of House Vital. 
We are, all of us, hopeful that your arrival in Dazra and your clear connection to Anasko Varun, for the first time in weeks, represent some semblance of hope. But you do. We have only seen brief glimpses of him since the incident. But you heard him speak. How can that be taken as anything other than providence? Please, just allow us a moment to explain. By all means, Malivore. I can't wait to see how you spin this. Please, can we just for a moment... Can we just for a moment what? Discuss whether or not to allow the first convert to House Varun since before any of us were born? A bit late on that, it seems. You were not there. You did not see Anasco. It felt different. We have already wasted so much time and... You're correct. I was not there. Because you elected to travel to the spaceport on your own. And then decided this on your own. Do not waste time with more bickering. Anasco, and by extension House Varun, suffers with every passing moment. Of course, Lovek. My apologies. Please, Malibor, do go on. Anasco Varun, like his father before him, has relied on the teachings of Jinan to guide us. Anasco wondered if perhaps it was time to seek guidance directly from the Great Serpent, and so sought a means of reaching out. Perhaps he found the teachings inadequate. Careful, Katik. You tread on dangerous ground. I mean nothing by it. We simply were never consulted on the matter and do not know the full motive. The point is that a series of experiments have taken place over the years, utilizing grav drive technology to hopefully make direct contact with the Great Serpent, similar to Jinan Varun's initial meeting. And then something went wrong. We do not know what happened. We were not inside the scaled citadel at the time. Had we been, we wouldn't be standing here now. We'd be like the rest of them. A great tide of energy emanated from the scaled citadel and swept across Dasra. Much was destroyed in its wake. Those caught in the blast have been left in a state of confusion, trapped halfway between our universe and the Vortex. The Citadel itself remains in such a state. Right there and... yet beyond our reach. We can only assume that the experiment is still running, somehow preventing us from entering the Citadel. We cannot get in, so cannot stop it. We... were beginning to lose hope before you arrived. Your arrival and your interaction with Anasco shows that he can still be saved. A plan had been devised to access the Citadel, but the work stalled. Clearly, it is time to move forward with it. The current head of our science team, Ekris, should be in Jinan Plaza down below us, towards the Citadel. Tell him about your experience with Anasco, and that work on the morning device must proceed. Scientists out at Hamadi Station? The old married couple? Uh, Azad and Shireen, if I remember right. I'll take a look. Do you truly have no shame? No shame at all. The things they expect me to accomplish. Well, look who it is. You have made quite a stir, and given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. To what do I owe the honor, Vindicator? Did he now? Hmm. 
How magnanimous. But approval is approval, and I will gladly take it. I will spare you much of the technical detail, as I confess that pieces of it I barely understand myself. One cannot help but notice the energy field around the scaled citadel. Until we can get through it, we cannot shut down the experiment inside, and it has proved quite impossible to get through. We had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect grav drive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Politics got in the way. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became negotiations and so construction never began we have sat here staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now serpent help us it is infuriating hmm i suppose i should i believe i've done enough complaining for now time to get to work if you're here, the Council has likely sent word to the Houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. I need to oversee construction here, make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the Houses, that may speed up the process. I appreciate that someone around here is eager to get to work. House Fetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. Help me get what we need, and we will see what we can do for the speaker. And for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the Serpent puts before you as we navigate this. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. If only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. I know, I know. I have lost friends and colleagues myself. We have encountered several interesting phenomena. First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. The process is simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice, if you have the materials. And, depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage. Just look around. I'm sure you have at least some idea of how much we have physically lost. A huge portion of the city is just... gone. 
and those left behind are struggling. Supplies are limited. There is so much work to be done, and we are all just so tired. I hope that eventually we can return things to the way they were, but we must be realistic. That will take time, and I suspect a great deal of it. <laughs>